King James on the beat says, I got like 400 beats on YouTube and need to do something with them. Some sound like hits. If you got 400 beats on YouTube and you will have not, and you're not, how many views are you getting? Each view you guys see, that's the thing that I hate people don't understand with, uh, with digital distribution. If you just distribute it through YouTube alone, you can get royalties off of that. You know what I mean? Yo, you guys supposed to be making money off that shit, man. You can make money. It's untapped money in YouTube, whether you are able to monetize it on YouTube or not. That's one thing I did learn from uh, UMG Germany. They taught me. I'm, I'm going to tell you something, guys. UMG Germany has taught me a lot, and it's, it's reflecting on what we're going to be offering you guys. Russ Chattel says, do I need to register my music name business before copywriting songs with Gov? Your name does not need to be registered. Your personal name or legal name does not need to be registered. Your production company does if you plan on re, uh, releasing it. But if you do not have your production company registered yet, you can register or copyright your music with uh, the, the, the government under your government name. It's, it's all gonna work the same because you are representing your music. I do, however, recommend getting your production company up and right, guys. Jay Gizmo says, I'm a writer, my friend makes beats, and our other friend does videos. We want to make a legal partnership and pull you in for cons consultation. How do we do that? Uh, just email me. Just email me because that's what I do best with labels and companies. I I consult, you know what I mean? Um, just where you guys going to be located out of, what state are you going to be located out of? You don't have to give me your city, just your state. Cast Sinatra, streaming is cool, but shouldn't more artists, producers be looking to get placements in TV and movies? Yes, there is, oh my God. There are so many unknown producers you guys will never know that I know and have met and 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 been around that are living in California, living in, in million dollar houses and, and, and they don't care to work one time with any artist like Kendrick or anybody like that, they don't give a damn. They're making so much money on TV and sync placements, it's pathetic, guys. And they're keeping track of it. There's so many different ways you guys can do that. Again, I'm putting all that in the course. Like, I'm going hard on this course. This this revamp, so all of you guys who got in when I was, you know, pushing uh, Carrot's um, promo and was letting you guys in for the load, y'all got in at a very good time because the new course, crazy. I'm, I'm delving in all that shit, man. How to get heads up on placements or how, how to get contact people how, how to know when certain tv films are coming out before anyone else knows got all that man if it's with a major label or a major artist or multiple producers are involved then you have to decide what that split is going to be based on what everyone thinks is fair so and that's basically what you've done within that production but um you're automatically entitled to 50 percent. so it's not what you should be negotiating for if you're the solo producer on that it's what you're going to get regardless